Bitcoin to $2.9 million per Bitcoin by this date. OMG. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I read an article today that just blew my mind about Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about that, how Bitcoin is holding very, very nicely uh, on this uh, crypto sell-off that we're seeing today with Ethereum tanking. Bitcoin is holding strong. We'll also talk about what is happening uh, in 48 hours, right? Friday, Saturday. Yeah, 48 hours <laughs> uh, in Nashville, Tennessee right uh and how that could affect uh what's going on with the crypto market uh and how much uh he's raised right we'll talk about that as well all i ask is that you give me a beautiful smile smash that like button it someone told me right experts they told me that the price of bitcoin will go up if you smash the like button on my videos that's what the expert told me i don't know right maybe it helps maybe it doesn't why risk it right <laughs> it's a bit of course right wink wink uh, <laughs> and now let's take a look at where the price of bitcoin is currently at sixty-five thousand. it did take a dip all the way to 63,470 for Bitcoin, but Bitcoin made a massive 2.5 rally in the past three hours, and you can see it's flat, 0.49% on the day, still with a buy signal here for Bitcoin, but you could have made uh, a very nice uh, do re mi, right, a very nice trade here, uh, buying the dip, right, uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, if you're interested in day trading swing trading leverage trading our partner margex will give you the opportunity link is in the description down below they have a five million airdrop going on right now where you can get up to five thousand dollars for trading plus you'll get fifty dollars once you sign up using my link and another fifty dollars once you deposit your first one hundred dollars into your account that goes to commissions plus another twenty percent kicker uh to your deposits uh, your first deposits if you use my special code uh no kyc it's not available in all countries so see if it's available for you and please 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 trade response you can make a lot of money but you can lose a lot of money as well i's been i's i's been <laughs> i have been on both sides of the coin of the, of the leverage right i've made a lot of money but i've also um you know wiped out uh positions right and got liquidated so you have to be very careful uh what you're doing okay we did see a very interesting start of the day and it kind of it was a bit of mixed signal right um the markets were tanking so you can see bitcoin was down right it, it actually sold off here last night uh i think it might have something to do with uh what was going on in japan with the yen right uh, i have some suspicions there was a lot of shenanigans going on there pushing the price of the yen up i think that might have had an effect and th there was some selling uh, across the board bitcoin gold uh the nike which is the japanese stock market and that had people selling we saw liquidations we saw stop losses and there was a big dump here in the morning uh, and we see ethereum is down around five percent and the total crypto market is down uh almost two percent right whereas you can see the bitcoin dominance uh has gone up right over the past uh, few hours uh, and you can see right it's just gone up from 55 percent of bitcoin dominance all the way up to 56 percent so showing that Bitcoin is holding very, very nicely. Uh, and if this continues, I wouldn't be surprised, right? If we see uh, 71 and a half get tested this week, uh, you know, by Sunday, uh, just because that's always happened in this, these past few uh, cycles for Bitcoin, where every time it closed over 66,000, 65,000 uh, on the Sunday candle, uh, on the weekly candle, we saw the next week uh, Bitcoin test 71 and a half. Doesn't mean that it's going to happen, uh, but that's just what happened previously. Maybe this time is different. Okay, so we're going to be watching that as well. So if you see what was happening there, we saw Bitcoin pop, right? But it was interesting because if we look at the stock market, the stock market took a few days down right it was you know yesterday was a little bit scary right <laughs> uh and um it started out not so great so we saw a sell-off here on the open and it, it was interesting because if you take a look when the gdp numbers came out there was a little bit of a pop then it sold off and then uh, after about uh 45 minutes after the stock market started trading everything started rallying so and, and there's been a little bit of a pullback here but in general everything rallied uh you know there was a big flip like nvidia was down i think um eight or nine percent right on the open uh seven percent uh and now it's in the green so there was a big swing here uh you know massive swings massive i think people got you know option trading people got 
um, you know, closed on the short and then popped on the long. It may be a little bit of a short squeeze there. And that affected uh, what was happening with the crypto market as well. Uh, so very interesting. Uh, there, there was, of course, also a job reports. Uh, for, maybe if we refresh this, it will give us the actual, right? Um, so there was also the initial jobless claims. Oh, wait, that's not next week, right? Where is it? Here. Um, the median forecast actual, right? Uh, da -da -da, they didn't update yet it here. But um, there wasn't anything that was happening 45 minutes later that could have moved. Like there was no news that could have happened here. Uh, so it was interesting to see that everything moved like that and Bitcoin was able to uh, come back and, and have a nice uh, recovery and only down half a percent uh, on the day. But, you know, if you if you zoom out, of course, it's still down here uh, for looking at the four hour chart. But, you know, it's very, very low here on the stochastic RSI. So high probability that it bounces off of here. And that's why I'm optimistic that we'll see that 71 and thousand. Uh, but, you know, short term, it's very hard to to predict. And, and I saw an even longer term prediction right uh where um you know maybe it's uh, going to be happening and maybe not right it's a little bit far out so you know what giving a prediction like this is kind of like you can give it and then it's so far out there that even if you're wrong there's going to be somebody that remembers it but you're going to be like well you know i was young i was <laughs> right um, so 2.9 billion million, not billion, <laughs> for one Bitcoin, Van X Siegel issues stunning 2050 Bitcoin price prediction. Um, so the asset management heavyweight Van X shared a uber bullish report on Bitcoin prospects as store value and medium of exchange. If we think about this, right, uh, Kathy Wood has given her bullish predictions as well. But when you have a fund that is offering Bitcoin ETF, and they <laughs> come out with 2.9 million um, for Bitcoin by 2050. Um, let's think about that, right? So 2050 um, is uh, 2050, right? Uh, 2050 minus 2024, that's 26 years divided by uh, four. That's six and a half, right? Whoops, <laughs> what's going on? Technical difficulty time. <laughs> That's uh, six and a half right cycles, uh, halvings, right? Uh, and so, if every halving, for example, we three and we three x, let's say, right? So that's sixty five thousand times three, right? And then times three again, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> right? So if we three x every single cycle, right? from the high, then actually that's kind of low for 2.9 million, uh, we'd see 47 million <laughs> um, per Bitcoin. Um, now, I don't know about that. <laughs> Come look for me at 2050, right, on my prediction here. Um, of course, I don't think we're going to see as we get higher and higher in the numbers, right? I don't think we're going to see, but just because people are, there's not going to be enough cash, enough fiat, fiat to do it. Right. And maybe we'll see like, you know, people have talked about this. This might be the last cycle that we see huge movements in the top 50, top 100. Right. There's always going to be a meme coin or a low market cap that's going to give big gains in a bullish market. But I think this might be this cycle, next cycle. And then after that, the numbers are going to potentially right, if we if we do these numbers, they're going to be so big that it's just going to be very hard right at the top end. Uh, and so 47 million per Bitcoin, listen, uh, you know, I'll be a very happy camper if that happens by 2050. Uh, how old will I be, right? Uh, it's 20, right 26 uh, plus uh, 37, I'll be 63. So <laughs> I'll be a, a pensioner by then. Uh, probably they'll raise, you know, the pension price, the age to like 75 by then. So I won't be a pensioner. Uh, but I'll be, you know, uh, you know uh, I won't have any gray hairs because I'll still be bald. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see if that will actually happen, uh, you know, going forward. Let me know in the comment section, what is your prediction? Like my prediction for this cycle uh, is actually that we'll get to my prediction here, right? We're at 65,000. I'm looking at Bitcoin to like four to five X, right? Um, so if we get to 260, 300 this cycle, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, and a lot of people are saying more, 
Uh, but, but if we do three, right, if we get 180, 2,000, I wouldn't be surprised at that. But let's get to 100,000, as I think that's when things are going to get bonkers, just because it's a psychological number. Wow, 100,000. It's like when Bitcoin hit 1,000 and it hit 10,000. It was like, wow, right? Um, usually when we see uh, Bitcoin hit 100% gain from its previous high, that's when retail starts getting crazy. I think it will happen this time a little bit earlier, not at 120 or 130, right? But at 100 because of that psychological level. Uh, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. So that's going to be interesting. Now, in today, uh, the Nashville uh, Bitcoin conference is started. I'm not there, right? I live a little bit far away, so I can go, right? Um, but uh, President or former President Trump uh can't you call him still president trump because he was a president i don't know <laughs> uh but uh trump raises more than four million dollars in bitcoin uh, and other digital coins as crypto support pays off so this is you know big for him i know that you know he gets billion you know hundred of million dollars from these big billionaires but still uh, and he's also going to be keynoting on saturday so today is thursday so friday saturday 48 hours uh and this is big right this is big for cryptocurrency it's well you know there's some rumors that maybe he'll announce something uh, you know of a plan for bitcoin and for uh crypto uh in this um in this speech um but just the fact that he's going to be there i think is monumental uh and uh we don't know if he's going to win the election or not. That's, you know, still up for grabs. Um, but just the fact that a nominee uh, for the president uh, from the Republican Party is coming to a Bitcoin conference and is going to be speaking. And as a keynote, this is not you know, a, a rally of, of his. This is a conference, right? I think this is huge. Uh, I think a lot of people are banging on this, that it's going to move um the crypto market significantly and bitcoin significantly i don't know about that right i've seen some videos people like in 48 hours everything's gonna pop right i don't know about that i want to see what happens i want to see where where the market is you know psychologically maybe you know when he stands up on the podium and he speaks bitcoin will pop a little bit but to talk about this is it's on Saturday. So you know what? Maybe that is going to be the catalyst <laughs> that sends us to that 71.5 area, which it has tested multiple times and keeps getting kicked back down, can't close over that level. Uh, outside of the days where we were right here, where we were making the new highs, right? Since then, it hasn't been able to close over that 71.500 level. Uh, there, there has been wicks above that, but the dailies always closed under. Um, so I'm uh oh um this one closed okay so there was one day that this one didn't but i think these two days here we did close over right um so but, but since then right since this area of april we haven't been able so we'll see uh what happens with that and how bitcoin is going to react to the trump news uh but let me know in the comment section what do you think about this right are we do we get to 2.9 million is this too low is this too high is 45 million the correct number right let me know in the comment section down below of course not financial advice and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest and check out the links in the description down below see if anything interests you maybe you want to drop a super thanks as a thanks uh to you know watching this video right and you want to support that way i appreciate that as well thank you for watching i hope to see you next time don't forget to smash the like button and like i always say let's make a lot of money